What's up, fight fans? Main man, main man here. Man, y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? And what up to everyone in main man, main man's boxing form over there on Facebook? Hey, look here, man. The thing is this. News has now came out and surfaced that it looks like Roley Romero will be losing the Javante Davis December 5th Showtime pay-per-view fight. And he will be replaced by Isaac Cruz. It's being reported all over the internet at this present moment. I see now that Mike Coppinger has dropped it and he's been speaking about it. And that is the fact that Isaac Cruz has now agreed to a fight or agreed to a deal to fight Javante Davis on December 5th in L.A. So, you know, to a certain degree, I don't know how boxing fans are going to feel about this particular replacement, but I can tell you how I feel. But first off, let me just say Isaac Cruz, 21 wins, one loss and one draw with 15 KOs. He is coming off a victory against Francisco Vargas. Outside of Francisco Vargas, the only other recognizable name on his resume to me is Diego Magdaleno. But still, these are two fighters who are not really moving the needle that much amongst boxing fans. So those are good wins, I guess, if you are a fan of Isaac Cruz. But to the grand scheme of things, it's kind of like a drop in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Javante Davis will now step into the ring with Isaac Cruz. And a lot of people may say, well, this is easy work for Javante Davis. I will agree. Looking at some of, the, of Isaac Cruz's highlights and some of his previous fights, I do not believe that Javante Davis will have a problem with this guy whatsoever. Now, at the end of the day, fight fans, once again, this is a pay-per-view. So when, when they were talking about these, these things, about Roley Romero and him facing the sexual misconduct allegations and everything, we already knew that that was enough to get him dropped from this event because guilty or innocent in today's times well that's just enough to have everybody not want to do business with you just the allegations alone now i gotta admit now roly romero still has uh, uh still has to wait till the facts come on out i see how this story is developing and it seems like it's starting with one victim who then included many more victims along the way according to the reports we're now up to approximately eight women who has now le leveled allegations against roly romero now, my thing is with the replacement, though, fight fans, I mean, a lot of us, given that we're going to pay some pay-per-view dollars for this, man, shit, we would have been down to see a good replacement, something like Gary Russell Jr. That would have been the perfect replacement, fight fans. This goes to show you how pussy to a certain degree that the Mayweather side is acting when it comes to them Russell boys. This is a pay-per-view event. There would have been no better replacement than either Gary Antoine at 140 or Gary Allen at 126. Either man has been calling out Javante D Tank Davis, and we know how big of a fight that that would be out here in the DMV. It would have been on the same side, as far as the same side of, uh, or the same, you know, uh, 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 outfit, because these guys rock with PBC, so it wasn't no political BS. I don't understand why we didn't get a Russell as the replacement over this Isaac Cruz cat. Now, this is traditional Tank Davis. Always finding some Latin fighter to fight. You know what I mean? Building his name, building his profile amongst that, that audience. And to a certain degree, forgetting about the people that really want to see him get in there with the big names. I mean, Tank Davis' name ring bells, fight fans. Let's call it what it is. It rings bells. So at this point in his career, we want to see him mixing it up with the cream of the crop. We're talking about a, a Russell or a Teo or, or a Devin. I, I've heard reports that Devin Haney offered to be a replacement for Javante Davis. Of course, that fell on death is. I don't understand it, fight fans. I like Javante Davis, tough fighter, really good fighter, powerful fighter, gets them out of there, does everything right when he gets inside that ring. I ain't got no criticisms at all when it comes to that. But however, his team, his team, is the one that are responsible for the complaints that are coming from boxing fans. The way they are moving him, who they put him in the ring with, and then expecting for us to pay for the pay-per-view and everything like that that goes along with it. Now, I get it. He's attached to Floyd. He's popping. That's all great. But come on, man. At some times, we got to get the fights that we want to see. As much as I enjoyed the Mario Barrios fight, at the end of the day, I didn't ask for that fight. I'd rather seen somebody else. You know what I'm saying? 
as much as I enjoyed the Gamboa fight, decent fight, but I didn't ask for that. I'd rather have seen somebody else. And it's the same thing with this Isaac Cruz fight. And I'm sure that there's going to be some Isaac Cruz fans that's going to come out the woodworks. Oh, he's this, he's that. Look, man, he all right. But at this point with Javante Tank Davis, we want to see bigger. We want to see more. So it's a very unfortunate that we didn't get a much bigger name. But I do understand how last minute replacements go. And sometimes when you're talking about last minute replacements, the name ain't going to you know, ring a lot of bells. It's going to have to be someone that they can grab possibly for the low and uh, who don't got an upcoming fight coming up and someone that they can grab and possibly that's beatable and throw them in there last minute with Tank. At the end of the day, if you're talking about a Russell, the best grounds to have that fight on would have been out here in the DMV. And given that they're staging this fight or want to stage this fight in L.A. amongst more Mexican fans or Latin American fans, that didn't just, you know, you see exactly where they're trying to cater to. And so I guess in that particular market, since they lost uh, uh, Roley Romero, and that would have been a big fight in that market. Don't get it twisted. They replaced him with another Latin fighter in Isaac Cruz. So I guess they're just catering to the market or catering uh, uh, just into to making some money. And it's becoming just too obvious for me, fight fans. I mean, I get it. How much money can they possibly make? They keep doing this shit over and over and over again. Give us a name when it comes to Javante Davis. I'm not asking for much when it comes to Tank. Tank is a damn good fighter. But it's time to step it up it is time fight fans year after year after year that goes by we give a ton of excuses as to why tank can't get in there with the best or they're grooming them or they're raising them or they're making them this they're making them that well i'm tired of hearing that i've been hearing it now for years fight fans we can't get a russell because oh russell ain't big enough he can't fill the arena which is a straight up lie and myth Russell versus Tank fills up every arena, maybe even FedEx feel about this jump. We can do it in B-more. You can do it in D.C. You can do it in Maryland. You can do it in Virginia on neutral ground, wherever you want to go. It makes no ever loving sense. So this is what we're left with. Javante Davis versus Isaac Cruz. Once again, from what I see from Javante Davis, he shouldn't have no problems with dismantling Isaac Cruz all day. December 5th going down. Showtime pay-per-view fight fans. Much love to the fam, man. I catch up with y'all real soon on the live stream. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock them bells, man. I catch up with y'all soon. Until the next video, man. Peace out.